One act of kindness, no matter how small, can change someone's life. Tim Thornberry experienced this when he was given a pair of football cleats by a high school teammate. This random act of kindness caused a ripple effect that continues to change lives in our community. For going above and beyond to help others, kids, struggling families, folks battling serious illness, and treating all with compassion regardless of their need, Tim Thornberry is our 2018 unsung hometown hero. After struggling and finding his way in Los Angeles, Tim returned to Lebanon to help his parents cope with serious health issues. When he realized the medical challenges his dad and stepmom were facing, he decided to alleviate some of that stress by organizing his first benefit, a volleyball tournament, which turned out to be so much more. I decided to start a volleyball tournament for mom just because I would see them struggle they work hard. I mean, my, my mom was, my stepmom was going and she was working through it. She worked the entire time. She, you know, she had her lung taken out and she was going to work with lung cancer. I mean, I, if that's not something that you just look at somebody who comes home and she, you hear in there, you know, when I go to visit, she's choking. All night long she would choke. And just the feeling of drowning all night long. I was like, what, you know, something's got to be done. It all fell together, and then I saw personally how it was affecting the two people from just a volleyball tournament auction, which it, it carries a lot with it, a lot of stress, but I seen what it was, what the end result was personally. I seen behind closed doors what it did, how it affected the day of the life. Uh, no stress of paying your electric bill, no stress of this, no stress of that, no stress of worrying about food, you know, being able to take that extra couple hours off to go to chemotherapy type of thing, like stuff that we would definitely take for granted at most points. In my mind, it's, I just started seeing, well, this is a way that things could be changed. This is how Lebanon could be changed. In my mind, when I think about the ripple effect and trying to make change and doing what you can is I picture myself walking up to a pond, a lake, sitting on the side of it, looking out over it, and every little good, every, like if you do one little good thing, you see a raindrop hit the other side and you see some ripples come across. Then you see something else good hit over here, ripples come across. Well, this is your community, this pond. Well, these, ripple, these ripples are starting to go across and they're starting to touch everywhere. As the ripple effect continued, Tim decided to use Facebook and the hashtag much love to reach out and attract others who might want to help. The annual Christmas project began when Tim responded to a mom who requested help for her kids at Christmas. After checking out the situation, Tim realized the family's needs were greater than he could fulfill alone. So using social media and the hashtag much love, he reached out for help. We had some people come together that was the first year. We ended up, ended up doing, I think, 20-some kids. And I kind of seen how the impact that had. Tim's willingness to help extends beyond the Lebanon area. His Much Love hashtag found its way to Springfield to help wounded warrior Zane Hunter with his March for 22, an event to increase awareness of veteran suicides in Missouri and the United States. So when I decided to do the march, I started a Facebook page for it. And as soon as I put it up, within a matter of a couple hours, Tim sent me a message and said, hey, anything I can do, let me know, I'll be glad to help. Tim used social media to help provide help for March 22 by basically promoting it as much as anybody could. But I mean, he was always sharing posts that we had. He liked every post that we had. Anything that was put on there, he was a part of. Over the years, the ripples have continued as Tim helps families struggling with serious illness. Josh and Rusty Weaver were preparing to spend Christmas with their six children at St. Jude's Hospital, where their seven-year-old son Aaron was being treated for leukemia. That's when they first heard about Tim. Tim works with my brother-in-law, and my brother-in-law reached out to my husband while we were there, had just a few weeks after we had gotten there and said, this man named Tim is going to call you and he has something that he wants to do for your family. So when you get that call, answer your phone. 
just a couple hours later, my husband's phone rang. I saw him go into the next room and sit on the phone, and I liter literally saw him break down. Um, he came back out and he told me, he said, this guy we don't know said, I want you to focus on Aaron getting better, and we are going to do whatever it takes to make sure that you guys have as good of a Christmas as possible while you're there. At first, it genuinely blew us away, this stranger that we had never met, had never heard of, reaching out and offering to do something so gracious and so generous for us. It was a relief for us because we had no idea how we were going to ever be able to step away from Aaron while he was impatient going through all this and go Christmas shopping. We weren't really in the Christmas spirit at the time. It was very difficult, but he kind of kick-started us to decide that we were going to make it the best that we could down there. And so it was an incredible thing for him to do and had such a ripple effect then for us. Many have witnessed him creating ripples of kindness by gathering food, clothing, and sports equipment for those in need, by making Christmas a special time for families, by raising thousands of dollars to help sick children. And today, those ripples continue, crossing our community, touching lives, and making them better. When I think about Tim as a hero, he operates out of the goodness of his heart. Um, Tim sees the need and he just, just knows that he has to do whatever he can to help meet it. That's heroic. And whatever that need is, he's right there doing the best he can. I think that's amazing. My opinion of what his goal is, is to let kids be kids. I think that's what he just wants. Letting a kid not have to worry. Tim has such a good heart and the fact that he would so much rather be behind the scenes and not get the glory is something that speaks volumes of his character. For going above and beyond to help others, kids, struggling families, folks battling serious illness, and treating all with compassion regardless of their need, Tim Thornberry is our 2018 Unsung Hometown Hero.